Okay, so here's a simulation of a simple Class A amplifier. Here's the uh, voltage supply. Here's our signal voltage set at 0.5 volts. We've got some DC bucking capacitors C1 and C3. R1 and R2 are the uh, biasing resistors for the transistor Q1, DC548. This is the gain setting resistors R3 and R4, the emitter follow up capacitor. And here's the load resistor. 300 ohms. U1 and U2 are some AC voltmeters just showing the input voltage and then the output voltage. So, let's see it work. And as we can see, we now turn the circuit on. We get 0.348 at the base of the uh, transistor, and we're getting 2.27 volts at the output of the transistor. Just bear with me a second, I'm putting an oscilloscope on the circuit and this will show what the uh, voltages actually look like. Sorry about this, I know it's not pretty. It's the easiest way of actually showing what's going on. Okay. Just first out so we can see it better. And let's change this. Is the AC. And right. Oh, I'm getting clipping. We're overdriving. <laughs> okay, here's what's going on. So the blue trace, if I just sort of do a single here, there we go. The blue trace is our input voltage which we look at channel B it's 500 millivolts per division so that's our input voltage there and our output voltage is channel A which is this square wave looking pulse it shouldn't be square by the way that means we're actually overdriving the input of the amplifier we're getting too much volts out anyway the point is that if you notice one thing we certainly that the input signal is much smaller than the output signal if we put them to the same scale easy to understand. So there we go. Same scales. We've got small input voltage, big output voltage, but the output voltage is inverted. In this case it's being slightly overdriven. Let's just fix that. If I go here and do this to say 0.1. Yes I know if we can stop the restart simulation. enough. Yeah. Sorry about this people. There we go. Well it's the same thing. We we've very we're driving the transistor, but the point is that we are amplifying our signal from our input to output. That's pretty hard to see. There we go. So there's our input signal, there's our output signal. And we're input is being amplified to the output there. We've got point two five volts at the input and we're getting 4 volts at the output or 1.806 AC there. Okay, that's about it. So, that is the action of a Class A amplifier working here. Cheers people, thanks for watching. Take care.